Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 with the Historical Immersion Project mod. I keep wanting to say Historical Insertion Project, which is a different mod entirely. But anyway, here we are in Denmark and uh, last time we just won a probably the most difficult war we've had so far against um, the combined might of Bavaria, Lotharingia, and I think Bosnia joined. But it even then wasn't too much of a problem and we triumphed and took this nice duchy over here. So uh, let's, well, it's actually not that nice, is it? These don't have any subholdings. We can create one here, create one here. So I guess it's not the best land, but it does make our borders contiguous, which is always important. And wrong type of holding. Oh, this is a city. Well, I guess um, we're going to have to create a vassal uh, republic then. Which is okay. We can do that. Um, okay. Men. Not in prison. Not married. Or wait, they can be married. Keep doing that. Uh, not already a ruler. My religion. My culture. Yes, an adult. Not a great house. Like someone with high stewardship since it's a city. Uh, let's see. Sure. Oh, this guy has 15. I'll give it to you. Grant landed title. Uh, County of Deep Martian. Okay. Maybe he doesn't become a republic? It'll have to be a duke level? I'm not sure, I can't remember. That's okay. So, um, yeah, also our, uh, our father died in battle against a lowly peasant last time, so we've inherited uh, the kingdom as King Sigurd, Sigurd, named after our famous grandfather, of course. Sigurd Snake in the Eye. We are yet to earn a cool nickname like that. But um, we do have to do some vassal management, probably, since uh, kind of got neglected since the whole succession happened in the middle of a war, middle of a battle, in fact. Um, okay, so maybe the Duke tier guys are not too unhappy. Oh, he was fired from the council. He doesn't like that. make him whatever this is, you know. and maybe it's another gift, sure, you'll like that. And who else? These two counts, uh, these are the, uh, the Slavic guys, aren't they? Probably never really going to like me that much. He hates uh, Zealous versus Cynical, which is uh, not really anything I can do something about, or something I can do anything about, to phrase that better. But, um, sorry about the notifications going off in the background, by the way. I guess I left something open. Um, Yeah, the other guy as well. It's just religious di differences in deceitful versus honest, which again, I can't really do anything about. So, there we go. It's about uh, the best we can do in terms of vassal management. We will just hang on to the rest of these counties, because uh, it's, um, it's possible for us to do because of our limit, and uh, it's probably advisable to uh, give us more power against our... Um, Unruly vassals. And okay, great. We have another juicy bishop that we can sacrifice whenever our next blot. Um, which we can do pretty soon. So that'll be fun. Okay, so all of these are probably from that war. We can just get rid of them. 
And my prisoner's complaining that a rot. Don't worry, he won't have too much longer to wait. I drank some water and choked on it. Thankfully, a servant saved me, but my court witnessed the entire embarrassing situation. Oh god, no. Well, that's fine. A daughter was born. Oh, she's my heir. This is my first child? It is, okay. Wow, and a genius too. Excellent. And... Yes, blot time. Human sacrifice. Parties. And we have some especially juicy prisoners, I think. We have a duke. Should be Christian. Yeah. The gods will be pleased. Now for some human sacrifice. The duke goes first. Yeah. We don't apparently get any extra prestige or piety for executing a duke, but that's okay. Yes, prestige, piety. It's possible I take a little too much pleasure in these mass ritual sacrifices, but, you know, it's, it's just a game. Let the celebrations begin. Okay. I think this is the same guy who constantly makes an ass of himself. Probably because he has the gluttonous trait. I guess we're just never gonna like him. Okay, morale and prestige. So, uh, I would like to take this one county here, possibly, just to neaten up our borders, which is obviously very important from a tactical standpoint. We can probably just do a county conquest, or a subjugation, which doesn't really seem necessary. Uh, we can do subjugations on these guys too. That's the uh, one per lifetime, I guess. And this is just the... Uh, the county claim. No, oh, we have a county claim from the guy we invited, or rather our father invited. And some other claim for our courtier. Hmm. I think we really want to take land over there if I can get closer land. Anyway, King Harold up here has passed the age of 50. Did he get the old age trait yet? Nope. Much too healthy for that, I guess. Oh no, there it is, okay. Old age. Which is only minus one health. His, his positive traits still balance that out. And our plot... Yeah, our plot went away. So maybe get that started again. See if we can get anything to happen here. doesn't look too good. I think we are just going to have to wait for him to die a natural death before we can do anything with that. Hopefully our claimant doesn't die before that. And speaking of claimants, let's see if we can even find anyone for over here. Nobody immediately standing out. Claimants? Claimants? Mm. Nope, they would not accept invitations. How about Gotland? No claimants. Alright, well, we'll just leave it for the moment. Okay, a Jarl died. The Lords of Scania have approved the institution of low feudal ob obligations. Okay. Uh, so, we can create more duchy titles. Uh, and we could hold two more, I think, so maybe we should try and do that at some point. Duchy of Hamburg, which is... Oh, it's titular. And Duchy of Holstein, which comprises all that land. Which we're probably just going to keep, so I guess we'll 
how to create that one first, maybe. Mecklenburg, oh yeah, that would give us that claim. And here, okay. I assume we don't actually have enough money to do any of those, though. Yeah. We'll take more. Alright. You can keep an eye on that. Or maybe it's better to spend our money upgrading holding or something. Who knows? This one candy here is annoying me. Our borders will be so much neater. We just go ahead and do that right now. Our retinue might even be enough to beat him. Ah, probably, but it would be close. There's an ally he can pull in down here. That'll be very strong, though. Alright, we should get our cancel to work. And you. I guess you might, might as well try to improve relations with these tents down here that aren't going to like me. Train troops. Um, yep, in the capital. It's the only place we have any troops. Collect taxes. Again, in my capital. Losing all that territory has really cut my monthly income. Which is unfortunate. And you maybe try and convert people down here. Okay. It's possible I should just try and revoke some of these. We did spend money upgrading them after all. Maybe we'll put that on the to-do list after we clean up this county. Let's raise, uh, let's raise your vassals. I mean, your levies. And who else? Raise yours. Oh wait, we have to declare the war first, don't we? Declare war. Let's do a conquest. May as well just raise up all our, all our vassals' troops, actually. Except, yes, except you. Go back home. Uh, why did he not get sacrificed in our blot? Hmm, oh well. And save him for next time. I'm starting to think I know might fancy me. My sister in law. And she just died of pneumonia. Well, given that piece of information, it is definitely not appropriate. So, yeah. Also, she's. Uh, whatever religion this is. Definitely not be appropriate. Okay. Probably enough to go in there for now. Do have more in the way? We do. Okay. Um, can we include some in? Okay. That was the guy we weren't worried about. This. It's fine, actually. I thought it wasn't going well for a second there, but... I needn't have worried. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're unhappy. Okay, get everyone in there. Should give up pretty quickly. <laughs> Sorry about that. Some fluff caught in my mouth. Do 
So I said before that I didn't particularly want to conquer much land outside of the Dujur Kingdom of Denmark and points north, but um, we really spent the last while just uh, taking more and more land out here, so, you know, it's fine. Um, most of my vassals have decided to cooperate in order to improve their own situation. Okay. They will be able to field more soldiers. Meeting about the quality of our rule. They probably don't have any aims but the status quo. Okay, that's fine. Rumors of a traitor. Oh, it's just a siege event. Okay, that brings us to 90%. I know their sieging is over here, but it's not important. We are putting together some kind of an army, though. Not one we need to worry about, but it's there. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yep. Okay, usurped his titles. And... I guess we may as well just hold on to this for now. It's a barony. So we can hold it with no penalties. And are these new administration recently conquered? Are they extended in this mod, I wonder? Mm. I actually don't re remember what they are in vanilla, so I guess we'll never know. Yeah. Um, okay, somebody's imprisoned. Gives us another title we can create, possibly? Oh, a titular duchy. No particular need to do that, I don't think. And my prisoner can rot. Harald up here still shows no sign of dying. And his vassals are happy with him. Probably why none of them want to plot to kill him, I suppose. Stupid, likable Harald. And his fair hair. Um, sinister forces, you say? Okay. That's fine. I don't really care. Okay. Yeah, still getting no troops and almost no income from these new lands we have because of the uh, newly conquered thing, but that's fine. Alright, um, revoking these things. Or, more, uh, more directly, Perhaps uh, arranging for them to fall into our hands. Doesn't look like we have the best plot plan. Ooh, except against this guy. Well, oh, he's actually quite likely to die all by his own, all by himself, without us even interfering. No children. Wife is not pregnant. Hmm. Maybe we just leave that situation alone and. See how it turns out. Oh, this was our uh, relatively good brother. Not much chance against him. And uh, he, he holds that as well, okay. Yeah. Since it looks like we have a good chance of just getting those without having to even risk being grounded a Kinslayer, then let's just do that. Maybe we just plot to revoke uh, from this guy. That way we won't have to kill him and we can keep him around. We can't just revoke it, I assume. No. 
Okay, so we want the county of... I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but I remember it. Yeah, let's plot to revoke that. Got some people on our side. Someone's no longer someone's guardian. And do we have to get... Oh, we have to get about 80. Nobody wants to be bribed? Come on. We're so close. Literally anybody. No? No? Oh, he's sort of close. Let's try bribing him. And there we go, okay. Yep, let's go ahead and revoke it. I don't know if he even can say no, since he's not of age. We'll see. Oh, I guess he can say no. War it is. Yep. Send in our retinue. Gets us to 51% already. Can probably just send them up there. Let's uh, raise our levies here too. It looks like our retinue can just take care of it by itself. The double flanking bonus. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, brother. So he still holds what? What do you hold? Um, county... County... This county, okay. Well, uh, can we just revoke it for free? Are we gonna have to fight him again? Yeah. Hopefully we don't have to fight him again. That would be terrible. He humbly accepts, and he needs a guardian. Why don't we... Why don't we educate him ourselves? Great. Okay. Oh, that's pretty nice. We uh, increased our domain up to its limit and now have some actual useful counties, probably. So that's good, and uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching again, and uh, come back next time.